me and Milad are going to be making ice cream in our hotel room. Or at least we're going to try. The only things we have are a CVS and whatever we can find around our hotel room. We're going to need some plastic bags, but I'm not going to buy two different sizes like I'm supposed to because we're just going to be cheap today. Then we're going to grab some salt. It really doesn't matter which kind, but I think this should be enough hopefully i looked for a different amount of sugar but this is this is all they had so we're just gonna buy a giant container of sugar now we need to go find our wet ingredients i'm not sure what they'll have here because this is cvs we're gonna grab whole milk because fat is super important in ice cream so we want this to be as fatty as possible then i really wanted to find some heavy whipping cream but i don't think they have it here so we're just gonna have to settle for half and half which is just coffee creamer this is gonna be less fatty so i'm a little concerned how this is gonna turn out it's probably not gonna be very creamy it's probably gonna be pretty icy but hey, we're still going to try. Since we end up buying all of this stuff, I figured we should make multiple flavors instead of just making vanilla. So let's go ahead and make a couple different flavors. While we're over here in the freezer section, let's go ahead and just grab one of these Starbucks coffees and we can make it into some coffee ice cream. I think another easy flavor would obviously be just to do chocolate. So let's go find some Hershey's chocolate syrup. The funny part is I'm pretty sure we've already walked past the chocolate syrup multiple times, but it's all good. I find it kind of funny that most of the things here are either in very large portions or really small portions. There's nothing in the middle. So we're going to have to really stock up on some of these things. Hopefully we find things to use them for. If we're going to be making multiple flavors, we obviously have to make an Oreo one. Cookies and cream is not only one of my favorite ice creams, but it's pretty much everyone else's too. I think four flavors is probably perfect. We have Oreos for cookies and cream, and then we have a Starbucks Frappuccino for coffee. We got some Hershey's chocolate syrup for chocolate. I guess I should have got some vanilla to make it vanilla, but I guess we're just making sweet cream instead. I was so focused on making sure we got everything that we needed that I didn't really realize how much was in my arms until I just dropped everything right here. For the record, I've never actually done this before, so I hope that buying all this stuff isn't going to all go to waste. But I do know that it's possible to make ice cream at home this way, so I figured why would we not be able to do it at a hotel room? I'm curious, comment which flavor you would like to try. Also, let me know if you think any of them aren't going to work out. I think a few of them might not work out just because the amount of sugar that goes into an ice cream really affects the way it freezes and i don't know how cold we're gonna be able to make this speaking of cold it's time to get our last ingredient which is gonna be courtesy of the hotel because all of them have ice machines we're gonna take four of our bags and we're gonna fill those all up with ice the reason we need all this ice is because these bags are gonna become our ice cream machines if you've seen the video of me and my grandma making our family's 100 year old ice cream recipe a lot of this is gonna seem very familiar this is also a really fun science experiment to do with kids because it teaches them about chemistry if you add a bunch of ice to water you can make it 32 degrees fahrenheit height or zero degrees celsius which is freezing but the crazy part is as you mix that all up the water doesn't all freeze and become ice but it is at the freezing point but for us to make ice cream we want it to get even colder so what we're going to do is we're going to add salt to our ice adding salt to the ice is going to melt the ice but also lower its freezing point since salt water freezes at a colder temperature the water is going to get a lot colder around it but it's going to help our ice cream freeze on the inside now it's time to mix up the batches of our ice cream flavors this is the part where i think we may be making a mistake we should probably be measuring right now but but we'll figure out if it makes a difference later. Each of our flavors is gonna get a bunch of whole milk and then some half and half in it. And like I said before, since there's not a lot of fat in either of those, it's probably not gonna be as creamy as you'd like. So if you can, I would try using heavy whipping cream. While Milad holds open our ice bag, we're gonna go ahead and add a bunch of salt in there. And this is gonna do that freezing thing I was telling you about earlier. Now that we're here, I think we probably should have bought some more salt because the more salt, probably the better in this point, but we're just going to add a little bit so we have enough for the other three batches. The ice cream mix is supposed to go in a smaller bag, so it's easier to put inside the bigger bag, but we only bought big ones. So we're going to go ahead and put this big bag of ice cream mix inside of the salt water. You want to try to get as much of the excess air out just so that it shakes up a lot easier. As Milad finishes up that bag, let's go ahead and get started on our next flavor. They're all pretty much going to follow the same pattern. We're going to take a big bag and we're going to fill it up with some milk and then some half and half but then they'll be different we add their different flavors in one of my favorite things about making ice cream is that it always brings people together whenever i make ice cream with my grandparents it's always so much fun because it's just something for me to do to hang out with them and now i get to do it with one of my friends even if all of this fails and none of these freeze and actually make ice cream at least we had a ton of fun doing it it was a crazy adventure okay hear me out i know it seems crazy we're just throwing a bunch of oreos in here but they're gonna end up dissolving anyway so there's no point in crushing them up as we're adding these oreos i realized that uh we never put sugar in the one before this so it's just gonna be very bland 
So hopefully it still tastes good. But on the bright side, our sweet cream flavor should freeze up really, really nice and easy because the less sugar that it is in your ice cream, the easier it freezes. So we have two flavors down now and two more to go. We made the sweet cream one and then the Oreo cookies and cream one. Now we're gonna hand that off to Malad so we can throw it inside of its little ice bag and then we can go ahead and start on our next flavor. I get so many comments asking if me and Malad are real friends. And as you can see, yes, we are. We don't just do this for the videos. Making videos for you guys is a ton of fun, but it's also pretty stressful sometimes. Just a year ago, I was just some guy making ice cream for a couple people. And now I get to make ice cream for millions of people on the internet. And that's a really, really, really big change in such a short amount of time so it's fun to meet other people that can just understand it a little bit one year ago Malad was just a guy making some subs and now he's making all kinds of different food for millions and millions of people we both come such a long way and it's so fun to be able to look back and just know that we got to do some of this together now so thank you so much for being a part of this journey with us we absolutely cannot thank you enough this flavor was coffee we went ahead and just dumped in the frappuccino instead of adding the half and half not only is it going to add flavor but it should add a nice fatty thickiness that our half and half was going to add based on all the things that i've told you so far i'm super curious if you would throw a comment down below of what flavor you think is going to freeze the best and make the best amount of ice cream now it's time for our last and final flavor and that's going to be chocolate we're going with the classic chocolate milk method to make our chocolate ice cream we're just going to take what we've been making which is pretty much just milk and then add a bunch of hershey syrup to it to make it chocolate milk and it's okay you can be honest with me maybe you're one of those kids that was told that chocolate milk comes from a different kind of cow and today you're going to find out that that's not true i do apologize if i wrecked your hopes and dreams of seeing a chocolate cow in real life but you're welcome for helping you out as well. I'm pretty sure when I was a little kid, my sister thought that for a while. She was addicted to chocolate milk and she used to make her own chocolate milk. So I don't know why she ever thought that, but I don't know. It's just destiny. This is by far the most labor intensive ice cream I've ever tried to make. And I really hope it turns out good, but I have a feeling it's not going to be worth all of this effort. Now that we have our last flavor together, we're going to go ahead and seal up this bag and make sure we get all the air out. And then we're going to throw it in the last bag of ice. Just to remind you, we have four flavors. We have vanilla, which we forgot to add vanilla to it, or sugar. So we can't even call it sweet cream. So we'll just call it cream. So we have cream flavored ice cream. Then we have chocolate, Oreo, and then coffee. Once we have all four of our flavors inside of their little ice bags, we're going to go ahead and clean up a little bit. And then we're going to shake these up a ton for a long time. I'm going to be honest. Uh, we had to add a lot more ice to these. And we shook them up for probably 30 to 45 minutes before they actually froze up enough to make some real ice cream. But all of it was fun and we had some good laughs and made a giant mess but we do have ice cream to answer the question i asked you before whatever flavor you thought was going to freeze the best it ended up being our cream flavor the one that's not sweet cream or vanilla just cream and i think it's because we forgot all the sweetness to add to it because sugar does lower the freezing point of <laughs> liquids and as you can tell i really do wish that we had the heavy whipping cream because this would have been way creamier but it's pretty icy it's kind of like a weird milky slushy but if you look technically we have ice and we have cream so we did make some ice cream the oreo flavored one didn't really come out like the first one but it was my favorite flavor by far i just kept eating more and more and more of it the order that they froze the best was the cream one then it was the coffee one then oreo and then chocolate chocolate was pretty much just chocolate milk if you made it this far you know what time it is it's time for our special emoji to show that you made it to the end and i think it's very fitting with all of the ice cubes that we used today that today's emoji would be a good old ice cube we had so much fun making this and even though it didn't come out amazing i would 100 recommend trying it out for fun tell me what you thought when i said 